So the playoffs are over. Oh, my jersey? Yeah. Yeah. What? Don't be mad at me. It's the only one I had. What? You want me to change? Well, I'm not. So, watch at your own risk. What up, guys? Mr. Chuhuzi here. Hope you liked that intro. Yes, I am wearing my seventh jersey. And yes, it is the only hockey jersey that I own. So, yeah. Just deal with it. A few weeks ago, actually, nine days ago, actually, August 1st, I made a video predicting the 2020 Stanley Cup, NHL Stanley Cup qualifying results. Well, as of last night, the final series was decided, all of the placements were decided, and it's time to go over my picks and how I did. Uh, that's this video. The next video that will come out either later today or very early tomorrow will be predicting the first round, the actual first best of seven series of the playoffs. So yeah, just like in the first video, I'll start with the West in the first half and then I'll go to the East in the second half. I should have timestamps down below in this one. I added them just a few minutes ago. So, yeah, there should be timestamps to each of the series. And with that, let's get on with Series 1 in the West. West. Ugh. Calgary versus Winnipeg. Now, I really thought Connor Hellebuck was going to win this series for Winnipeg. And if you're watching this video, you already know how it turns out to the two of you that are going to watch this video. Um... I predicted that Winnipeg would win 3-1, but I am very wrong. Well, not very wrong, but pretty wrong. I got the number of games right, so that's good. I just got the uh, the winner wrong, which is not so good. I predicted Winnipeg would win 3-1. Calgary would have ended up winning 3-1. Um, I think what really hurt Winnipeg in this series was... The, their injuries. Just every time I turned on the Winnipeg game, um, it just, you know, Shifley uh, got injured, and then you had Line A got injured in the same game, and then you got so many people going down. It's just every time I watched this, someone was getting hurt, carried off, grabbing an appendage. It's just, it was so bad with injuries, and I think that really hurt them. I think the only game that didn't have any injuries, they won. Pretty convincingly, too. Uh, it was... Let me look really quick. It was 3-2. Okay, it wasn't convincingly, but from what I saw, it was... They did a pretty good job. Um, so, I think the one game, they didn't have any, any injuries. Their morale was high. And they ended up winning. And I think the other games where they did have injuries, they lost. You know, 4-1, 6-2, and 4 nothing, which is, which is gross. And, you know, I hate to see a Canadian team go out. You know, me being uh, Canadian and all. But, uh, you know, some one Canadian team had to go out. And uh, I think just Calgary outplayed Winnipeg. They outlasted Winnipeg. They didn't get as many players injured. Um, and I think they outlasted them in the, in the games where Winnipeg was on their game. I think, I think Calgary won this series. I mean, obviously they won the series, but I think they they really they really came out and showed the world what Calgary is capable of. So, yeah, I was wrong. You're gonna hear that a lot. All right, and next series is Edmonton versus Chicago. I chose Edmonton to win three one because of Leon Drysaddle, Connor McDavid, and. Drysaddle didn't come out at all. McDavid scored four goals, but three of them were in one game, so that was upsetting. And uh, I didn't pick them to go far in the pool that I already made, but I did pick them to win this series, and they just, they totally disappointed. Disappointed. They got wrecked the first game, and I just, they just, they won the second game pretty handily too, but the, the second, the third, Third and fourth game, sorry. They just... Chicago got them. I don't know why Chicago was so good in this series. I don't know if Edmonton is just really bad. 
and I was just, I was praising them for no reason, or if Chicago was just really good and I was trashing them for no reason. Because I honestly thought that they were done uh, in the playoffs for at least a couple of years. Because, you know, they went on that tear seven years ago. Um, and the core of the team is still there. I mean, they fired their coach. I mean, there was no way Edmonton couldn't win th- at least in this series. And they did. They got pretty much demolished. It was... Huh, yeah. So, I predicted Edmonton to win 3-1. And Chicago ended up winning 3-1. So, I mean, I got the number of games right again, but again, I got the victory wrong. So, yeah. Oh, well. On to the next series. That being Vancouver and Minnesota. The series I've watched actually a little bit of. Um, not as much as uh, Calgary, Winnipeg, and Edmonton, Chicago. But I did watch a fair bit of it, including pretty much all of the last game. Um, where I actually got the victory right, but I got the number of games wrong. Uh, I predicted Vancouver to win 3-2. And Vancouver won 3-1. So, that's good. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about this series. It was fun series to watch. The last game was very high scoring. I mean, Minnesota was up 3-1. In the early stages of the second period, Vancouver came back to tie it. A lot of penalties. A lot of penalties in these playoffs. Like, a lot. Um, And then Minnesota came back. And then Vancouver came back again. And they ended up winning. So that was a little little heartbreaking to see for Minnesota. And I love hockey, so the more hockey the better. But yeah, Vancouver wins the series 3-1. And I predicted them to win in 5-3-2. So, yeah. Oh, well. And the final series, which is the series I watched and followed the least. In fact, I actually have to look to see who won this series. Because I paid, like, zero attention to it. I just did not care. Ah, yes. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. After going to all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2017 and losing in five games, you just, you can't do, you can't, you can't go very far in the playoffs now. Like, what's up? I mean, it was Arizona. You should have won against Arizona, at least. Or maybe you shouldn't have. I don't know. I didn't watch this game. I don't pay attention to Arizona. So, maybe they won single pretty, pretty easily and just, you know, they played a couple bad games, but I, mean, I chose Nashville to absolutely dominate Arizona 3 nothing. But Arizona, surprisingly, ended up winning this series 3-1. So, good for them. Yeah, that's, I mean, sad for Nashville fans. I'd be upset if I was a Nashville fan, but I'm Ottawa. So, that's a whole different kind of uh, kind of feeling sorry for me. But, um, yeah. Arizona wins 3-1. I predicted 3-0 Nashville. So, I got nothing right in this series. Like, at all. So, yeah. Congratulations on Arizona for making it to the next round. Uh, Before I finish off the West, I would like to go through the top four. I predicted that the top four would go St. Louis, Vegas, Colorado, and Dallas. Uh, I actually predicted in my hockey pool for St. Louis to go to the Stanley Cup Final again against Boston. Hmm. You'll see, if you look it up, why I'm doing this. I'm a little little nervous. Just a little nervous. Um, So yeah, I predicted first place, St. Louis. Second place, Vegas. Third place, Colorado. Fourth place, Dallas. And to my surprise... I didn't get anything right. No, like nothing. The top four stacked up like this in the West. Vegas got first place. Colorado got second place. Dallas got third place. St. Louis got fourth place. St. Louis didn't win a single game. You'd think they'd win at least one. I mean, at least. I mean, someone's gotta lose all three, I guess. But you'd think they'd 
they'd, they'd win at least one. Like, come on, guys. Uh, you're the defending Stanley Cup champion. You had a really good start to the beginning of the season. You ended the season really well. You ended the season really well. It was just, it was so good. And it's just, I don't understand why they're in last place. Why they were in last place. Granted, this was just the round robin, so they probably weren't trying their hardest. But again, you'd think they'd win at least one. Like, try hard one game. Like, the first game. But, uh, I guess not. Maybe they were trying out lines. I didn't see a single round robin game. I just didn't care. Because, I mean, the team I didn't know was in it. None of the games counted. I'm going to see them again. Maybe for some uh, teams, for... 16 plus games. So, yeah, I didn't pay attention. But, yeah, uh, St. Louis. Come on, guys. Pick it up. All right. Now, on to the East. Now, let me pause just so I can have a nice, clean cut. All right. The East. Uh, let's start with Carolina versus the New York Rangers. I got this series very wrong. I didn't watch this series at all. This is the series I watched the least in the East. Um, but Carolina dominated New York. Um, I should probably preface this by saying, not preface, eh, there's another word for it. But I said in my prediction video, that the Rangers would win 3-2. Three, three games to two. Because they were going on a tear. I thought they'd keep the momentum. But I completely forgot that it's been almost half a year since they played hockey last. Uh, hockey that mattered last. And Carolina has been great for the last two seasons. Ever since they got the new GM. And they just, they dominated New York 3 nothing. It was... Clean sweep. I think it's the only clean sweep in the league, actually. Carolina, yeah, it's the only clean sweep, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, Carolina won 3 nothing. Uh, I saw a lot of people saying that this baby Lundqvist last game that matters, kind of in the playoffs sort of thing. Because, and I haven't been keeping up with the Rangers a lot, but just from what I've heard from hockey analysts and people who are much more invested in this team than I am that the Rangers actually have a pretty good goalie prospect pool so yeah that that could be good for them but probably bad for Lundqvist uh, I think he'll definitely stick around in the lineup but he may I don't know when we'll see him play again so but I mean he may be amazing next year and win the cup and that would be great I really want him to win a cup he's had a rough go of it in New York but yeah I got this one very wrong. I think it was the one I got the most wrong. So, yeah. Oh, well. All right. This video is getting a little long. And I know you're sick and tired of me hearing, hearing me talk in my really bad speech impediment and lispy voice. Can't pronounce anything. So, I'll make this series easy on you. Uh, New York Islanders and Florida Panthers. I predicted the Islanders to win 3-1. And they won. 3-1. Three, three games to one. I watched the first game. Seemed interesting, actually. Uh, seemed intense. Meant to watch more of it. There were just always better games on. I was sleeping or working. Uh, yeah. I mean, I got this one perfect. Which is, I'm actually shocked that I got one perfect for once in my life. So, yeah. Nothing really to talk about this series. So, well. Yeah. Good job on them. Next series. Oh boy. This. This series. Pittsburgh Penguins. Montreal Canadiens. Oh boy. I picked Pittsburgh to win. 3-1. I picked them in my hockey pool. To go all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals against Boston. And to lose. Um, I thought that Carey Price seemed just seemed a little eh, iffy the last couple of years, and uh, 
he did amazingly. He got a not almost a point nine five save percentage. Uh, nine four seven. Yeah, nine four seven save percentage, which is almost perfect, which is ridiculous. I thought he'd get at least one, maybe two, but not three. And they got all. And they got three. Pittsburgh. Oh my gosh. I I can't believe. Wow. What really sucks is that Pittsburgh and Edmonton and spoiler alert, Toronto all have a 12.5% chance of getting one of the, the best player in the draft. And, uh, yeah, like, I really didn't want... I really wanted Pittsburgh to move on, honestly, just for the draft, because, like, they won two cups back-to-back, like, three years ago, and uh, having a player like that on their team is just insane. So, uh... Yeah. Pittsburgh lost. My hockey pool's in flames. Uh, Montreal's moving on. So, good job by Montreal, honestly. Really good job by Montreal's part. They seem to... Not dominate, but they seem to really hold play. In the in the little bit that I saw, I think I saw... Two games, maybe a game and a half. But, uh, yeah, just... Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. What are you doing? I had so much faith in you. I shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, well. So, oh, well. Montreal won. Pittsburgh got wrecked. But I got the number of games right, so that's good. All right. The final series. The series that had the whole internet up in storm. And may still have it up in storm for another day or two. Maybe even week or month more. But at least another day or two before the actual playoffs start tomorrow. Actually, the draft is today, so maybe not, depending on who gets them. Anyway, Toronto Maple Leafs, Columbus Blue Jackets. I chose Toronto to win 3-1 because I thought, no way. Columbus can beat a team like Toronto. I mean, like they beat uh, they beat Tampa last year, but they were they stacked up on players at the trade deadline, and now like ninety percent of those players are gone. They lost their best goalie, and nope, their goalies were outstanding. Uh, Elvis Merzlikens and Eunice Corposalo, I think, is his first name. I can't remember. I can't remember his first name. But I know his last name is definitely. Corpusello. And every time they changed goalies, Toronto just couldn't figure out how to beat them. Like they changed. Um like they had Corpusello in game one. Couldn't beat him. They lost. Three nothing. And then Corpusello was in game two. And he led in three and lost. And they lost three nothing. And then he was in game. He was in game three. Did I say game two last time? He was in game two. They lost 3 nothing. And he was in game three. And they were down 3 nothing. They pulled the goalie. They pulled him. And they put Mazlikins in. And boom. Just like that. They switched. It's like some. It's like Elvis was like, boom. Uh, switch teams. Poof. And they did. Toronto collapsed. Uh, Columbus rose, and they won. They won in overtime, and, and they couldn't score. Toronto could not score on on Elvis. Elvis came into the building and left it without a single thing going past him. What, what was up, Toronto? Holy cow! And then Elvis was in game number four, and they got. Zero on them, and Columbus was about to win. They were up 3 nothing, The dreaded 3 nothing lead in the playoffs. Columbus came back 3 nothing last year. They came back the day before. And Toronto comes back within 3 minutes. They come back with 30 seconds left and win. Sorry, tie. To send it into overtime. And then well, about midway through overtime, Austin Matthews 
buries it. Well, not buries it, but he shoots it and scores. And it's a tie game. And I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm doing my work. And I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I had, like I was doing my work. Um, but I, I move around a lot at work. And so I, so I kind of had my phone resting. And I was kind of peeking over at it during the game. And I was like, oh my God, Toronto's going to win. I mean, Columbus is going to win. Like, there's no way Toronto can come back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Toronto, okay. They won. I can't. They. Oh, wow. <sighs> wow. Like, I know I chose Toronto, but I did not want Toronto to win. I just thought they were going to win. Like, I did not. Oh, man. My God, and then oh, and then we go to today, where they switch goalies again, and Columbus wins three nothing, eliminating the Toronto Maple Leafs, kicking them out of their own bubble, just like Chicago did to Edmonton. And I like I have no words to describe how great this series was. I had so much fun. Watching this series. And it's just. I can't believe that. Columbus pulled it out. Like I really thought. They were going to choke. In. In game five. I really did. I was like. There's no way. But. Son of a gun. Columbus pulled it out. And Toronto won. Toronto won. Like. Holy shit. Like they won. They. They actually won. In like. In convincing fashion too. Uh, like they had a, like Toronto had a couple good chances, and then Columbus scored. And it was all Columbus for the rest of the game. It was all Columbus. Ow. Like holy cow! I don't I don't even know. I I don't even know where to. Uh, it, I don't I don't know how to end this. So I'm just gonna end it and say, great job Columbus. You're facing Tampa next. We'll get to that in the next video. You're facing Tampa next. So. Good luck, the familiar opponent. So, yeah, I mean, just holy crap! I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm an Ottawa fan. I hate Toronto. Did not want Toronto to win, but I'm also shocked that they didn't. So, like, holy crap! Um, like, good job, Columbus. Toronto, you suck. Um, I mean, this coming from a sense fan, but I mean, you guys, like, ugh. Like, at least I know I suck. I don't have any hope for Ottawa in the next coming years. But you guys have hope. Like, you guys have the best offense. One of the best offenses in the league. And you still couldn't do it. It was just your defense. Couldn't, couldn't do it. Wow. Okay. I need to stretch a bit. Here we go. Now, let's go on to the top four. And I was very wrong on this. Oh, well, I was less wrong on this one. Because I got one place right. I guessed that the top four in the East would stack Boston, Tampa Bay, Washington, and Philadelphia. Because I, I mean, I saw a lot of people jokingly saying, ah, Philadelphia's going to get first place. And I was like, no way they're going to get first place. Like, Philly's good, but they're not that good. They're that good. They're, they're, that, they're that good. Philadelphia didn't lose a single game. They came in first place. Tampa, the only one I got right, came in second. Washington came in third. Boston, the team I picked to win the Stanley Cup this year, came in fourth. Now, like I said in the west half of this, this could not this doesn't really matter again i didn't watch a single one of these games so and it may not it just may it may not matter boston could come out and absolutely win 16 straight and win the stanley cup it could completely happen but it just like, you can't you couldn't have just won one just just one game one game is all i ask nope Oh well, I mean, I'm Ottawa fan, so I have no horse in this race. I mean, I have 20 bucks in this race, but like, whatever. 
So, but yeah, I mean, yeah. So that was it for the Stanley Cup qualifying prediction result. I thought this would, I thought this video would be so much shorter than it is. I'm looking at my clock now. It says 25 minutes. I think my last one was 21. So I'm going to wind it down here and just say thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, uh, all that stuff. I think after these playoffs, I may be done with hockey. Unless you guys want more, tell me in comments of video if you want more. But uh, more hockey content, that is. So, but uh, yeah, on to finally the playoffs that count. Have a good day, guys.